Wide Wide Web. It is Rick and Bubba. Spell out the word and.com. As promised, comedian extraordinaire, Killer Bees joins us. Good morning. Hey, brother. Welcome good, back. Good to see you guys again, man. This is way cool. Uh, and I am digging the new Killer Bees shirt there. That's pretty neat. It. I make all my own clothes. Well, <laughs> and that's uh, what I did. I tilled the ground, planted the little cotton seed, picked them by hand, then flew to Honduras and assembled the shirt <laughs> myself because I can pay myself less by doing that. So, Or you could just got Kathy Lee to get them made for you. Yeah, that, Well, yeah, but she charges commission. <laughs> As a matter of fact, and there's lots of times there's cracker crumbs on them because she got in trouble and had to start sending food down to the little... To no. the, Cheering. Now your logo, what is that exactly? Save killer? up. That save no, up. No, uh, the right little there. patch there. What oh, is that? that? It's now, a bee. Yeah, it's a little gangster bee with a machine gun. Yeah. And a stinger sort of poking out. I don't know what that in is signifies there, but that's a little gangster bee right there. That's not actually the official Killer Bees logo yet. In all, uh, it does grace the front of a number of our custom-made T-shirts that we sell to our lucky audiences throughout this land, and uh, when we had these shirt made, shirts made, they embroidered that there be on, over my uh, aortic arch, as a matter of fact, to be... Uh, oh, well, that, because it's near your heart. Is, is this Correct. Prater on five? Yes. Really. Okay, okay. I, I, was, I was a little apprehensive about taking five, but it, it will be Mark Prater joining us, too. Let's get him in here. But it's time for the weather. Everybody. He got it all together. Sing the song, baby. In the middle of a tornado. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Up? Save up, man. How you doing, buddy? And I'm doing fantastic. Love the shirt. Hey, thank you very much, Can man. Can I get like three of them? Yes, indeed. Because why? Because you gave me my start in showbiz, Mark. <laughs> That's why. And I always sure. remember those who have helped me rise to the top of this heap of slime we call show business, folks. <laughs> Scratch <laughs> company included, I might add. Yeah, sure. All I mean, of us. I thought you so, picked up our sponsor, Yamaha, and then I saw the little logo there. But uh, the black and yellow. <laughs> well, we will talk. We will speak with them then. Yeah. Well, we're, we're working on them, too. I mean, we, we need them pretty bad. But look, look, when it me. comes to those products, you don't want to have to save up. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rick. You were going to save, my friend. Well, I, I was thinking to myself, uh, I, I can't, I don't know who's worse. Is Killer Bees worse than JT with, with hawking for freebies? Well, now, Prater is hey, really Prater's come coming on. on. Uh, hey, we may I, have to I have don't. a hawk off here. Yeah, see. But, but JT, I yeah. still think, may be the master. But Bees is... I, I tell you what, all I have to say about that is hello to Will Jones up at the Apple, Apple Phone plant <laughs> up there at Apple Phone in Nashville, Tennessee. Apple Phone has that new elitist series of guitars out. Really top-level, <laughs> high-quality stuff. So, hey, Will, hey, y'all, thanks for them guitars we got signed over in Charlotte. Charlotte. Love y'all. Sure. Uh, so there you go. It's strange. Bees <laughs> is actually making his way to Miami. And and I was asking him, that you, I can't picture, you know, no offense, but I mean, a, a boy from Mobile, Alabama being huge in Miami, which is basically now a foreign country. They I mean, love me. <laughs> they think my accent is French. Rick, they, think I'm, they think I'm like, Sacre Bleu, it is killer, you know. So I have a lot of fun there, man. My, see, my influences stretch all the way from Athens, Alabama, where my buddy uh, Brett Kendra's up there. Hey, Brett, we love you. Brett got our shirts made for us. All the way down to Miami, <laughs> way down yonder, down south, where them people are playing baseball and stuff. So, you know, I'm a heavy cat, Rick, as you know. And well, I think hey, that is why you guys have... Oh, that's right. we got Mark on the phone. Hey, man. <laughs> I mean, Yankee, Yankees that. up 2-1, by the way. Okay. Yeah, and by, you know, Killer, I know that when you deer hunt, you use Simmons broadheads, the land sharks. There. Of course, I do. And, and what uh, kind of what kind of uh, string uh, things we use? Uh, we're actually using uh, a bow that. Um, well, I mean, I don't want to start hawking here. But no, I mean, it's, it's, it's a quick, <laughs> it's a trick question. I'm very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Look, somewhere JT is clawing to get here because yeah. sure. he's thinking, how can oh, that's I... him on his straighted out cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, hey, Mark, what bro, what bow are we using? Uh, actually, we're using uh, a PSE right now. I'm there you go. Switch over to Jennings. Okay, well, either one is great. Whichever one I end up with, fine with me. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah, I like to use just a limb with a with a string. 
<laughs> do, do you that, do that's fishing? A that's limb? a different. <laughs> you know, I'm going to move to a spear one day. Watch me. I, watch look, me. I'm going to take up spear hunting next year. <laughs> my bricklayer says I he want can, to say that I've been spear hunting. I my, do too. My bricklayer, the magical bricklayer Chief Trest and Mobile says he can throw a piece of rebar through a deer. <laughs> that's what he told me the other day. He goes, man, he, he goes, that deer be hat cocked because he'd pin him to the ground. He goes, he could try to run, but he'd be stuck. He'd just make a circle. Like, <laughs> uh, JT is joining the Hockomatic. JT, how are you? I'm good. How is everybody this morning? I was just run wondering if Killer Bees uses the Browning uh, rifle or if he goes with Winchester. I prefer a Zeiss scope myself. I like, I, I like the new SIG stuff that's out. That, sure. that six hour stuff, they're making some fine long arms now, as a matter of fact. Now, for my uh, handguns, I like Don Hume holsters. And uh, it's an equal toss up between Smith and Wesson and Coat. For me. I like all that. Please, when you're in the Excalibur tree stand, shooting go, center, Birmingham, you, Alabama. I'm sorry, what? Please, when you're in the tree stand, will you go ahead and use your Verizon wireless phone to call back? To no, no, I do not, as a matter of fact. I just use my GPS hookup. Who's that baby we got our GPS thing from? <laughs> I let them track yeah, me like that. That OnStar stuff is incredible. <laughs> I don't have that. I don't. Really, I decided not to I'd get like that. To see, I'd like to see. In my Ford Expedition from Treadwell Ford, I 65 South the Airport under the big giant American you know, flag, Mobile, yeah, Alabama. Alabama. I realize. I realize I'm not even in their league. I'm you know, not either. Y'all, I think y'all ought to just start wearing patches. You know, all the time like the NASCAR drivers. You know, drivers really, say. I thought we about. But if we all really want to, we could. If we want to pick up a little extra jack, we need to look at NASCAR. On the show, especially if you if you ever get on TV. Absolutely. Well, the thing I've you, you got just, to you do. You just sell your arms and sell. Oh, I tell you, man, you I've got to say. Well, hold on. I, well, I could sell myself. Oh, well, I we mean, know that. You know, I mean, <laughs> no, I could. No, we know that. We know how you got through college. <laughs> no, what, no, no, what I'm thinking is I could sell my head. Okay, uh, you know, I've, I've got a bald head, and we could paint her up, you know. <laughs> And, and, and I can we'll make it. it. Yeah, I can we'll make it look it. like a like a Moultrie feeder. Sure. You know, that would be sure. great. Or something like Moultrie that. Feeder. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I can do something like that, or I could, you know. For Buck Nelson. Yeah, uh, can I, I, can, can I, can I can make it look like a bow Nelson, check. I'm getting Dodge trucks from Jasper Dodge for everybody. Hey, let me tell y'all. We're going to have Kawasaki's to ride. Speaking of trucks, i got to say hello to Ricky Crawford, the driver <laughs> of the uh, Circle Bar Racing Strategic Air Command, SaveUpKillerBees.com, Ford F-150. He won Daytona this year, was second in the points last year in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Hello to Rick Crawford and his team. Out there. <laughs> oh, my Good God. Friends, listen, as much as you're on the road, I'm sure you're running into some back trouble. Dr. Irma Palmer. <laughs> 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 That's incredible for relieving some back trouble. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> Yeah, I listen, but of course, you know, my foot pain has raised up a lot since I've been using these uh, gel inserts from Dr. Show. Because I am gelling like a felon right now, but I'm not smelling because I'm wearing the, the uh, obsession after shave, the official after shave of the Killer Bees World, World Tour, as a matter of fact. So. And it's well, good I'll tell you what, after a long day like that, you might enjoy a nice steak at the Village Tavern restaurant. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Can I tell you what? Now, if you rank hawkers, do you count JT's above table deals or the below, or do you put them together? No, I, I, no it's, all, it's all gross. It's well, gross. Yeah, you yeah it is. Well, well, I, I know you love number one. Well, I know you love your patio though, from Absco Fireplace and Patio, and and, uh, and all well, that. Right. Say, you know, speaking of tables, Greenbrier Furniture is just like incredible. Well, you know, as I was going to get my table, I ran by Smith Brothers where I bought my cow dog. <laughs> and you know what? I was running low on gas, so I stopped at my local neighborhood BP station <laughs> and filled up and got some coffee. And stuff. Well, there's one right across the street from Mark's Outdoors. <laughs> there you go. I will tell you, I've never been deemed speechless on this show. I can't even compete with them. You might as well be hungry. I'd like some Bud's Best Cookies. <laughs> Rick, you might as well be wearing mossy oak camouflage right now because we can't even tell you. Some lacrosse boots. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot. That's, that's as good as it gets. It was the Hawkeye Championship. I think, I, I think we have to call it a draw. I, mean, I, I, I don't know that there, I, so there's the a belt, clear winner. The belt remains in limbo. You think, was it uh, B? Look, Killer B still number one, JT number two. Prater has come on. He wasn't even in the year. top ten. He's now number three. Don't you agree? He's up oh, for yeah. rookie sure. of the year, though. Sure. No doubt about it. We'll be Good right deal. back. More That's with a Killer, great bout. He's in the playoffs. <laughs> More with Killer Bees next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yeah.
We're back, top of the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show, 877-WE-BE-BIG is the number all across the country. Peaches is on the phones. You can get to us there. Killer Bees is our guest. Killer Bees has a new CD that is out. Uh, we are lucky enough to have actually a shout-out on this CD. You actually hear a guy scream, <laughs> stay in it. Uh, in the middle of the CD. It is available hitting stores today. I believe I, it, yeah, it went in yesterday, as a matter of fact. Music stores and Walmarts. I know they're in the Walmarts and uh, the FYE chain that, that's in the mall and uh, other sort of music stores. Also, B's website is a quick link off of rickandbubba.com, so check that out. Uh, you can now get Killer B's brand new CD at stores everywhere. As a matter of fact, uh, he is with the same distributor we are with. And our well, that's neat, isn't it? That is cool. And I our, thought that was great. And our new CD will be in stores uh, next Tuesday, and we'll have a CD signing that will let you know where it's going to be um, uh, by the hopefully before the week's out. Years? I believe the first one is in Leeds, but I'll, I'll double check. At the that. Walmart there? Yes. Okay, we Years think, we, ago. We when, think Leeds, Alabama will be the first. When we first met, we even said, man, it'd be neat to have our records in the same place. I remember that about four or five years ago. And it happened. We, and it happened. So that's kind of cool. Except your that's starts with K and ours starts with R, but really in the same section. But, but you know, I haven't went to see if they put it under B for bees or K for killer. I know I've got my own little plastic thing with my hey, name on it. So we don't have call. that usually, but I, I love going to the record stores and just being sure that it's in there. Oh, you don't got one you? of those plastic things? With yeah, your name can on? we get somebody to check and see? Yeah, if, if find out if, find <laughs> if it's in K. And they can call us. Or if it's in, uh, in R. In B. Also, bees, with well, this week, uh, you know, we don't like to talk about hunting very much, and we just don't bring it up. Do you love this song? Uh, we, yeah. I don't think it gets the acclaim. It does it. Sweet home and it free it. bird, but to me it's right up there with it. Well, it's, it's a well written song, man. I like the dynamics and all in it. <laughs> I just but, like them. I like just that. Hear it. We, do ha we do have an update. On Monday, we, uh, we had a, a big hunting day as we were preparing for the season, and we had on uh, uh, the. Um, uh, what's the title? Uh, the director of the uh, Department of uh, I think Game and Fish, something Conservation Fisheries for Wildlife, Alabama. Yeah, Alabama. Barnett Lawley yeah, yeah. was on, and he asked me to clarify something, okay? Because, and I appreciate him saying, "Hey, I was just wrong about this." Because there's a lot of rules right. to keep up with, yes. which is kind of one of my points. Hey, if you you guys can't keep up with it, how can we? Yeah, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe maybe you've exasperated the public just a little. And I think he would agree with that. We had a caller from Georgia asking the question. Of course, he made it clear he's over Alabama, and the rules vary state to state. And we told all of you how to find out your own rules in your own state. And uh, he, he said that, uh, you know, somebody had called in and asked about, do you have to have a hunting license to hunt on your own land? Uh, he said, after going back and looking at it, that there is an exemption in the law for landowners and their immediate family, as well as tenants who actually physically live on the land, this exemption applies to residents of the state of Alabama. Plainly stated, if you're a resident of the state, you or your immediate family resides, or, or your tenant resides on the property, you do not have to have a license to hunt uh, on your own land. However, he says he would encourage landowners and others to buy a license to help support the wildlife and fisheries, uh, freshwater fisheries program, which provide uh, biological services and enforcement protection for all privately owned land as well as public land. So he just wants to set the record straight, and I appreciate him doing that. Yes. So well, good you. deal. Yeah, so that, that was very important. That's neat. I'm doing a show for the National Wild Turkey Federation in February, speaking of hunting. Now, is uh, that where you they have to call you out on stage and you come out there and then you do your arms up in the air? That, that is going to be one of the things. <laughs> I, I, I'm doing a, two days for them. I'll be doing the regular Killer Bee show on one night, and then the next night a turkey uh, show? I will be hosting the turkey gobbling competition. Oh, Not my the God. calling competition. Now, the calling <laughs> competition is serious stuff. That's where they get out oh, and, yeah, they, oh, yeah. and they really compete, and it's such a finesse thing, turkey calling. But the gobbling competition, that's... Uh, Let's see, what's the word? Stupid! Uh, anyway, so they, they, <laughs> they dress they up like big giant turkeys. No, oh, and, oh, yeah, and put big bellies and have a beard coming out their chest and stuff, and they get out in a uh, gobble real loud. And part of the judging for that is entertainment value. So that tells you right there that that's kind of a... There's a side of me would like to see that. Well, you I've know, got a tape a, of it uh, from last yeah, year, and you it's hard that to, to watch. I, I would think it it's would hard. be. It's grown people <laughs> doing stuff on stage that... Well, Grown we've heard, we've heard about doing. dressing up like animals. You know, I, I don't the know calling, the calling competition. I don't think I'm in charge of that, but that that's the good one. That's where they nope. really have to have well, to bear down because the calling. You know, when you hunt turkeys, you don't gobble. Right. You call as as the hen does. 
Uh, we so. actually had one of the calling champions here on the show that we carried to a drive-through and tried to have him order breakfast, yes. gobbling like a turkey. Ah, you know, okay. really, if you think now, about we, it, they had to now, leave was the he parking the lot. Or, the, or, the, or, the, or was Colin? Uh, I, you know, he was doing the clucking, you know, okay. you know, thing. And uh, you know I guess brand he was calling. <laughs> uh, he had a something. He, I don't know, but it, you know, they had to leave the area kind of quickly after the manager came running at him with a broom. But yeah. it, uh, uh, it, it was quite a little adventure. You know, really, when you think about it, if you're when you're turkey hunting, you're actually a turkey transvestite. Exactly. You're dressed like a girl turkey. Well, actually, I mean, you're dressed I, like I, a bush, I, I, but you're making sounds. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, big boy, come here, in turkey language is right. what you're doing. You're, 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 you're talking up a male turkey. Yeah. And you're a guy. And you try not to think about that, because here right. you are in the gun, I mean, in the woods with a gun, and you're acting girly. You know, it, it's hard not to press as you walk to where you're setting up. <laughs> Dress you as a bush. Because right. you got to get the man. You right. got to get the mindset. Yes. You go as senior so. or junior president. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking of that, have you heard this thing we were talking about today? The guy that just went over Niagara Falls. Yeah, with, with, with nothing but the clothes on his back. Hey, and and they had him on the news yesterday, and they when they picked him up, he didn't have a scratch on him. Isn't that he, weird? He went over like a hundred and eighty foot drop. The into that, into that water, yeah, and, and they pulled him out without a scratch on him. The, the only one other person that survived going over those falls, and that was, I think, in like 1960, a seven-year-old child in a life vest fell out of a boat in a boating accident and went over the falls. Yeah, it was not survived. by design. Correct. And how about this? Even stranger, I heard him mention on the news last night, he is now a doctor that lives in Alabama, but he doesn't want to talk about it. Did you know the that? The guy that went over the falls? Yes. I did not know that. Look, if you're that guy, kid. call us, would you? Because I'm going to We want to talk to you Did you, you see it. the tape? You could actually see his mouth going, Hey, y'all, watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Just for you. But, you know, <laughs> if, but, but if I went over Niagara Falls as a seven-year-old kid and lived for him, and I know he's... Everybody yeah, I'm going to on a speaking to him. I talk about it all the time. Yeah. Because somebody goes, yeah, one time yeah, but I... It, one time it was I, a bad memory. Yeah, you know? one time I crashed on my mo on my bicycle. Is that right on your little ramp? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, 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 you finished? I got a story for you. I had some beans, <laughs> I had, I had some beans get after me one time. I got stung my three wives at one time. Yes. Oh, that's cool, but listen yeah. to this. Okay, yeah. 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 I smashed my finger in the door one time. Yeah. 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 Uh, anybody here? I had a root canal. Yeah. Hey, one time I fell off the pier and my meemaw had to pull me in. Okay. Uh, are you finished? Uh, all right, now, uh, let me tell you what happened to me. I was seven. I fell out of a boat, had a life jacket on, and went over Niagara Falls. It seems that, like... That's hard to talk. It seems like the Lord would give you your own drum roll sound. Yeah. If you were starting that story. Oh, sure. When I was six, we put on the the life jacket. Oh, yeah. You know? how, about, how about I would do, speaking of hawking, commercials for life vest, yes. for boating safety, yes. and for people who go, <laughs> hey, God's trying to get my attention. I still have a purpose on this planet. It ain't my time yet. Uh, oh, yeah, because I would go. It, it, but this, then another guy comes up. Just think if you're a barrel. What's that doctor's name? If you're, if you're a barrel person, now this guy has shamed you. You know, you, all this time you walked around, I went over in a barrel and also said, well, you heard about that guy just went over on his own with nothing? Yeah. But do you realize yeah. how many people made, made, you know, it's against the law now, but it used to be a big thing. They would make these homemade oh, barrels yeah. and these home, and you realize, I mean, a bunch of them, like 50 or so died, dude. There was a guy that yeah. had a, a failing circus. Y'all know about this? He had a circus that was not making money and he charged people to watch them send the entire circus over Niagara Falls. <laughs> they put, like, the entire circus, the wagons, all the animals on an old schooner, and it went over the falls. As a matter of fact, a monkey escaped off the boat and made it to shore, and they shot him <laughs> and threw him uh, over the falls. You know who I'd like to see <laughs> go over the falls? tickets for people to watch the circus go over the falls. I'd like to see Peter Jennings try it. I would, too. Since he is a Canadian, now he's become a, an American uh, yeah. after much criticism. Yes. And uh, his love for the Canadian health care system. Uh, yeah, speaking of going over the falls. Yeah, right. Maybe that's a question for more listeners. Who would you like to see go over <laughs> Niagara Falls in just the clothes on their back? Look, hey, hey. I, how about I would rather them let me go over the falls to fix my foot than have one of their doctors work on it. <laughs> I would like, I would, I would like, I'd like to see you shooting JT with a paintball gun as he goes over oh, the falls. Oh, and as he's in there, pop, 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 pop. What brand paintball gun? Speedy? <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know enough about it to even tell you. So hey. you, you missed that. It's been our highest rated moment television-wise. A paintball shooting? Uh, we, well, I, we took our program director, yeah. who theoretically should be our boss in most cases, but it certainly doesn't apply here. Yes. <laughs> but uh, we, we, he, uh, look, he, he is a financial disaster. He has lived beyond his means. Yes. And uh, he's always in financial 
you know, there straight. Is, Here's the footage. Oh, so, look at that. So what we did, look, we look put at, money on shooting. trees, and we're shooting him with a paintball gun. Look at that. Look, <laughs> look. Oh. Get him run. It, now, you notice he missed an envelope back there. Yeah. I, I don't want to. Now, well, here's what you love, B, is you being someone who well, loves watch guns. Watch him start waving because he thinks he's got them all, it, and he's wanting us to quit shooting. All right, now watch. And I, and I hit him. <laughs> no, he's got to come back. He's coming back and get the one he missed, but he missed two. Now, watch this, B's in a minute. He thinks it's <laughs> okay. over. And he starts headed for the truck, and I start shooting him in the head because he's missed an envelope. Oh, See, so he thinks it's over right now. And look at the paint. Look at him. Look, 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 he's waving. Yeah. I've got it. I've got it. Look, look, headshots here. There's headshots. <laughs> look, look. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> getting failed. <laughs> because there's still one out there. Uh, and look at Rick. He is just unloading on him. He and, and this was our my birthday oh. present. This was my look birthday present. Look at the present. smoke. Look, look. <laughs> Wow. Look that at Rick. Look a little happy, Rick. See, Isn't that, that a happy is, birthday is that boy? that a happy birthday boy right there? <laughs> that was like the Zapruder tape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, unreal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we've looked at that. There, there is, there is a theory that one of those shots to the back of the head came from an angle that could only be in the woods. See? The grassy knoll Can we run it back, off Chris? to the right. Because we're into slow mo today. Uh, 11 minutes <laughs> past. We'll come back. We'll take some of your phone calls here, too. Somebody says they know the name of the person who went over the falls in Niagara, at the Niagara Falls when he was seven. I mean, are we going to freak him out by talking about it? Well, let's just find out who it is. Maybe he'll call us. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It's past the hour with the Rick and Bubba show. Killer B's with us. His CD, it's a very exciting. We were talking about it, the, how exciting it is for his CDs now be available in, uh, in most everywhere you pick up CDs now. It should be there across the country. Came out yesterday. Killer B's new CD. Look for it wherever you shop. Uh, this was actually recorded in, in uh, Alabama, up in Sheffield, Alabama, in the Shoals. Yep, and at, we're, the, we're, at the Ritz Theater. And we, we're on up there, and, uh, of course, uh, you can hear on the CD, B says more than once, people <laughs> right. screaming, stay in it. So a lot oh, of... Oh, that was a nice transition. Yeah, did you CD like that? to uh, Turner Coffee Cup. I like did you that. like that? That was well done. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> and, and, and we don't want to dwell on this because we've got some other topics to look at, but uh, Killer Bees was enjoying the running of the goobs footage. Yes. That's what we call That's the content. Call that. I like that. Uh, so much that we were looking at it, and, and I hate to draw this comparison, okay, because it, it's a foul, okay? But anytime you look slow motion at things flying at somebody, it, the Subruder film is going to be brought up in the JFK right. thing, right. okay? And, and that, you know, it, it's just part of it. But look at this, because we were looking at it during the break, and we find, and I know this has been a big slow mo day for us, and, and I don't we mean to wear mo. everybody out with look, that. And I know some of you on radio, yeah. it, it makes you but miserable, look, let me, but look, listen. Let me point, paint this picture for you. Okay, look at this footage. Now, Rick, you are standing kind of where we're looking toward JT, okay? Yes, that's it. Let me hit Judy this. Judy is to the left of you, okay? Right. So you both are kind of shooting at the same angle the camera is looking been. at. Yeah, should have uh, Let's look at where a couple of these paintballs come in from, okay? Warning. This program may be found <laughs> offensive by no. pencil-pushing, bean-counting, research-loving program directors that and that radio look, consultants. Look, right there, that shot what? to the back of the head. Look at this. Look, right well, there... Now, it is possible that that shot came from this angle, but you see the way the pieces are bouncing off. It looks like that could have come from the woods behind JT. Shooter. Look at that, right there. You're saying a different shooter that we had hit out. Yeah, I, hate, see, to, I hate to call Grassy no, but in this case, the woods next he, door. He's using yeah. some of the theories used in uh, Splatter Dynamics by yes. crime scene investigators. Yes. Uh, now look, go ahead, and that, that, was, a, that was a critical shot it's right there. That, shot. One, that would hurt because we see a reaction from yeah. JT. Yeah. By right on the back of well, the head. Well, he can't believe he's being yeah. shot in the head okay. at this point. Still, the, you'll see an occasional paintball fly through here. But now he's waving, he's waving. Look, Bam! another shot That's to the head. That's a good one there. Now, see, that, where did that come from? Okay, that that is a top shot, and it, it, and it almost looks front. like it can't. Okay, now look. Look to the left of the screen. Y you will see another paintball come whizzing in here from dead in front of JT, which they are no shooters in front of JT. Where? Watch. Just keep watching. He's going to go under the rope. Now, he's left the now course at this point, and this is a the foul. ground is it? Now, Rick is still shooting. I you see, see that right there. Okay, look at this coming in. See, that is from his front. Where? You I see don't that see go it. by? It's I don't see it. Look, look, right here, Rick. Look. See, that sh see this piece right here? It's, see, about, it's it, about head high and It's coming in down. at a 45 degree angle right at his chest. Boom, right there. I still don't see it. Look, make it a bigger picture. Look, Rick, look, oh, at, this. Said, there you look at this. Look at this. Look right here at me. Look here. Watch this piece right here. See that streak? 
Oh, See that okay. streak coming okay. in? All right, yeah. And it, I'm, and look, and there's another piece coming in after it. It looks like. It looks like uh, JT that you're being shot from the cliff too. Was there somebody over there? Uh, I, it looks like somebody's on top of Mabbed at that angle. <laughs> I mean, it looks like you're getting shot from every angle imaginable. Now we didn't schedule those people. I don't know where that came that from. That couldn't it, have been. And it could have just be, you know, strange. Phenomenon. Again. Right. But yeah. it could be rods, like they find out at Roswell, them little flying insects they think go too fast to see. Yeah. You seen those? Yeah. They're like drinking straws with little wings on them. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm going to tell you, the, mm. paint, the paintball mm. thing, I'm a, I mean, uh, that is fun. Y'all need to do that again. Well, yeah, well, I'm thinking there's a number of people I would like to shoot in there. I think there's more people that might agree to let it. You know, we had listeners calling saying they would do it. You know, to let uh, shoot at him. Uh, well, I, I think it has to have some meaning to it, it does. Rick. Uh, shooting JT was a special thing. Of course, next time I'm getting in on it. But yeah, uh, you really should because I'm going to tell you. you know, we shot some, a, a, when's a your radio. When's we your shot birthday? a radio goob. You know, and it, the thing is, I know John Perry's been pretty good with his money, or we could shoot him. I would. Well, uh, I would, I would like. Uh, I would like to fire. Uh, you know, there, there's a number of people, <laughs> and I would think any of anybody out there that's trying to earn something, you know, they ought to earn it, and that would be a good way. To no sure. pain, no gain. That's right. You know, get out. we've had to go through it our whole careers. How, how about it hurt? It hurts a lot more than you want it to to get shot one of those. You ever been shot with one? No, I haven't. It but hurts. I've seen some of the, I've seen some of the uh, uh, wounds left by man. Those things hit hard. Now JT had he had all kind of padding on, but you still getting stung pretty good there, wasn't you? Well, see, the problem you can't is fake that reaction when you see one hit and that hand well, jump up there. There's a panic about it. He had well, a flying at him like a and, like, and the apprehension of not knowing. What this was all going to... I've never been in a paintball competition, so I didn't know, is this really going to sting? I heard horror stories about welts and... If it hits you know, bare skin, buddy. So that, the anxiety rush was there. Look Plus, at that. Look at that shot. Look. I, I was loaded down with about, I don't know, 60 pounds of, you know, camo and padding and... You know, I started getting hot. I couldn't get oxygen, so I started waving my arms. To you couldn't run that far anyway without yeah. anything. Oh, no, I've been working out at Fitness Together. They've well, got five locations. That doesn't, have anything, to do. that doesn't have anything to do with your wind, yeah, unless no. you've been doing cardio. Yeah, I've been doing cardio. But so I'm talking put, about, did you notice? I'm going to say, there's still a difference in that treadmill and having to hoof it. You know? no, well, yeah, especially when you're running scared. Look, <laughs> yeah. go, go back. <laughs> look, 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 look at here. Look at this. That's, that's the return trip killer when he's yeah. trying to get back. Now, watch, watch the end of this. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> That's what hurts right there. <laughs> oh, just oh adds, boy. Look, now he's walking so he can't breathe. <laughs> you know, because you'd be... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got one more shot in on him. <laughs> but, Still well, firing. Well, I just I had to be sure it was over. I, I, you know, you got you to make sure... So uh, you know, yeah, that, we'll, have, fun. we'll have to do that again. Yes. Yeah, they, they, they My birthday's in March, but you know, uh, first of the year. Who? I mean, who's against that? Did you, Did you notice JT though when he, when they showed the shot of him behind there, how he was working on that hand? <laughs> the hand got lit up pretty good. Well, that glove is not a very good pattern <laughs> on the back of the hand. I know, I know, I know. I'm three, but mine's coming up on December sixth. Um, well, that, yeah, we that's real close. On... It could be a day that lives in infant. Right. Okay. Would anybody Would anybody like to have speedy fire on them? <laughs> well, mine's November tenth. <laughs> so we, we can get somebody quick. <laughs> what if you go trick or treat? Look at him working we, on that hand. Look, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hand took some, see, I, yeah. I knew that he would be reaching for the money, so I fired on the envelopes. So he, he get that. You hand. seem to be shooting good groups too. Yeah, I thought that was pretty. I thought you was gonna go to auto there for a minute and go ahead and unload. You know, I should have. But looking back, I don't think I don't think I understood exactly how you could do that on the gun. Uh, David is in Shelbyville. David, welcome to the program. David? Hey, Rick and Bubba. Hey, buddy. Go ahead. Welcome, sir. Yeah, I just want to know, let y'all know that I was scanning through the TV one day and just happened to run across your show and been watching it ever since. Thanks. And y'all look great. I really appreciate that. All right, now, on that uh, run of the goobs with JT, uh, maybe y'all take that big deer stand, get up there, and, and let him slip through the woods. That would be fun. And try to try to out fox y'all. Hey, there was a guy who called me, and I lost your number. Please call me back. He said he had a two-man deer costume that would look like a real deer, and and I would sit in the big man or any of them. We could go out there. That one could be just both of us sitting a, a tree stand out there and let wood and 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 see if we could get some. I, I some like shot. the war game uh, version where we're up in the tree stand and JT's trying to make it through for uh, money. Uh, and <laughs> I like an obstacle course. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. And, and, and you got stuff to hide behind and all that, and we got to make good shots. Natural you can dress cover. him like a deer and have the salt lick of cash. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? 
<laughs> just hunt over the salt lake, man. <laughs> that would be good. Which is legal to do unless there's, uh, you know, if a it's your property thing. or you're a tenant. <laughs> Ginger, Mobile, Alabama. A question for Keller. Go ahead. Yeah, I heard him uh, talk about uh, he was going to be at one of the turkey things, but isn't he going to be in Mobile soon for the LPGA? Yeah. Yeah, Am I indeed? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I am, my dear. Yeah, hometown. Let's give them a plug. Hey, here. there you go. Yeah. Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it is great. We love you here. You're famous. Well, bless we, your heart. I mean, and the, we can't wait for the LPGA, and mostly because you're not, you're going to be there. Well, how about that? Well, well bless your you. heart, Ginger. Thanks, darling. We'll see you soon. So you're, you're welcome. Bye-bye. All righty. So you're going home, now, that's sir. the Cornelius yep. Bennett Celebrity Golf Tournament. Yeah, so you'll be there right when? Yep. Uh, on my birthday, as a matter of fact. <laughs> no, on November the, the 10th. 10th and the 11th, yeah. <laughs> Robbie in Calhoun, Georgia. Tell him Rick said hey, would you? I will. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Please. He'll remember you? Yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> uh, Bees, uh, this is for you. Robbie in Calhoun, Georgia. Go ahead. Hey, good morning. Hey, Miss Robbie. Hey, I just wondered... Um, whether or not or how you felt about the new reality TV shows and whether you had seen Joe Millionaire Monday night. Well, I have not uh, I've not seen the new one, and uh, I know a lot of people have fun with these reality shows and stuff, but I work nights, so I don't <laughs> get to see them real often. And when I'm not actively out touring and being funny for money and making the world a better place for all kinds of people like you and me, yeah. uh, then I'm hanging out with my children and doing stuff with them. So, As a matter of fact, other I'm, than promoting your nighttime job, you wish TV wasn't even around. No, really, because it could take away from your nighttime job. <laughs> you don't want don't anybody. Want to say that. Well, you know the old days when everybody used to go down to the show. I mean, that's, yeah. that's where there's you used nothing to have, have to yeah. do. Yeah. Except have so. more kids and, you know. Dale yeah. is in East Flat Rock, you know, as opposed to West Flat Rock. Fine. How you doing? Great. Monkey grass. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, question for Killer. All right. Yes, sir. First thing I ever heard you do was Betty Crocker. Oh, that's right, man. I heard pieces of it in your new song, but I want to know if you got a CD that has the original Betty Crocker on it. As a matter of fact, it does. We have included that in the stand-up portion E. Oh, great. Because that is such a fun bit about putting grease on the bottom oh, yeah. of the pan that uh, we do have it on there, brother. Okay, no. Thank so, you. Yeah, it, it, thanks it, for calling, man. Yeah, and it should be it should be everywhere uh, today, so look for that. Jane and Coleman, question for Bubba. Jane, go ahead. Bubba. Hey. Monkey grass. Hey. Uh, What's up? You know what monkey grass rhymes with? Yes. Yes, we do. And as a matter of fact, uh, sometimes we'll say that just to have, for a little fun in the breaks. <laughs> <laughs> but monkey, monkey glass. glass. Monkey yeah. glass. Right. Yeah. Okay. That, is, that is what you're talking about. I, I, I like your T-shirt. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I'd like to know where you got your T-shirt. You like that? It, uh, Rick, what's it say? You have to read now, it. The, now there's even more junk. Yeah. Like that. And this is from the Turner South Originals uh, series, Junkin. Okay. Yeah. I, ne I never miss it. I That's set a my fun team show. It. That's yeah. a fun show. It really I'm is. asked to be. I want to be a guest on there and go, go, you know, too. But they, I want to go to Collinsville. They've got one where they're actually going to come to Killer Bee's uh, garage, I think. Is that not coming up? <laughs> yeah. And swing over the moat and come on in. Yeah. Look, we'll have to step past the Rayobi tools. You know, I've had a lot of people ask. I, I guess, uh, I, I don't know if they're available widespread or not. Uh, what, those shirts? Yeah. John Perry, let me know. I don't know. Beast, good to see you as always. My pleasure, man. Good seeing you guys. He's headed down to Miami. The new CD is available everywhere. Look for it. Uh, and as always, look for Killer Bees coming to a town near you. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. That's a little techno music. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Hear that? That was just techno. Uh, the that CD get hung up. Music has gotten so weird, the CD was stuck, and I thought it was a song. And you don't know. Yeah, I was like, did, 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 did. oh, this is a cool little beginning here. <laughs> Must be the latest from you, too. <laughs> uh, so uh, we make our way back. 877-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Bees has got a few more minutes with us. He is uh, about to go uh, check out of his room, catch another plane, head down to Miami, where he'll be appearing tomorrow night. Because uh, you're off tonight, right? Correct. Be doing four days of shows down there. Uh, possibly going in doing some pitching. Don't know. They hadn't told me exactly, but uh, yeah, I think you, may, you my, may pitch for the Marlins. Yeah, I think my venue <laughs> dates run uh, Thursday through Sunday as I perform in uh, big old gigantic Miami. Are they back in Miami tonight? Yes. Play? And then, yes. then they, they have one more. They do. Yeah. So they will so play you, tonight. Yeah, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Only they one play night. Thursday as well, don't they? Yeah, but then yeah. they're going back to New York. Well, or it could be over. 
Who knows? But I suspect yeah. the fans there will watch him on TV. You know, I would. If it you would. know, I'd get TV on come see you live and then go back and see it. Do they even have fans? I mean, I, I, have you ever run into anybody who said, hey, I'm a Florida Marlins fan? There is uh, a DJ, a morning on-air personality in Augusta, Georgia, that is a huge Florida Marlins fan. Really? As a matter of fact was uh, on I mean, his show with him a few weeks ago when the playoffs were going on. And he was just had circles around his eyes from being up late night watching the Marlins play. Yeah, you, you meet a lot I've of radio guys, don't you, out yeah. and about. So, so and I know one. you have to work with all of them. We just want to be your favorite. Yeah. That's all. Actually, I mean. we have a thing here. Well, y'all are more like me. <laughs> you know, well, thanks. I mean, that's a, <laughs> I thought this yeah, how should we take that? Good. Uh, well, well, cause kick, y'all a, kick a man while he's down. Because y'all aren't uppity and stuff. Well, no. You know, that's, people ask me about y'all. What, what are Rick and Bubba like? I go, they're like us. <laughs> that's what I tell them. They're like us, man. You know, they got they got kids, and they try to do oh, right, boy. and that kind of stuff. So, oh, uh, sure. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I don't know. The, I don't know what I would do on the Howard Stern show. I do not know how I would handle if he brought some floozy in to take her top off or something. You know? Yeah. I, I, that, would, I would, that would be a very uncomfortable situation for me to be in. And there's just a... Uh, well, to me, what the, you know, the, 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 the thing, yeah, but, 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 but that part of it, you know, you would just try to go, okay. But the thing <laughs> that... Missed I, it. The thing I would have a hard time with is, like, if Howard started, like, really dogging me. You know what I mean? And start doing his, his thing. Worm me, little guy that... You know, I mean, do you, you wonder, and I know a lot of you have been traumatized by the Nebraska player punching the fan that was cussing him. You know, what if somebody, someday, somebody just got up, went over to Howard, and just decked him? You know, yeah, I, mean, so right, I mean, right there on the show, said, Howard, how shocking was that for you, shock, shock? Did that shock you? Yeah. Did you see that shocker coming? And a lot of these cats have a penchant for making fun of southern accents and people who choose to live. Uh, well, in this great part of the country, so you know. Oh, listen, we've all been to New York. They've got no room to laugh. Uh, no uh, lie, man. I was in <laughs> Indianapolis, and I told my wife Tara, said, I said Alabama has no um, claim to more rednecks than anybody else. Look at these people. Oh, I mean, yeah. they were, Look, there's you know, people with cars littering. out on blocks in their front yard in every state. You well, been through Kentucky lately? Yeah, Come on. Yeah. Well, see, I don't mind low income. That, that's no, they got a good basketball goal out there. Yes, you're in it. Yeah. Yeah, but but it, it's your people who don't respect the environment and those around them that, that I get fed up with. And that's coast to coast, man. That's north and south. Well, and we've talked about this, too. I, I remember my mom counseling me on this at a young age that uh, your your economic con uh, condition has nothing to do with character exactly. or being neat and clean. No. Yeah, you know, exactly. you, you can take care of that. Though. There's there's a difference, like you said, in being yeah. 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 You know, that, yeah. Well, that, a, well put, Rick. That, I mean, some people just sorry, and it don't yeah. matter where they live. They all over the all over the world They're just sorry. Coast to coast, man. All right, I've I've got an update on this Niagara Fall thing, which is pretty. But, but, and is it your goal to traumatize this no, man? No, no, no. Listen, listen, he, a childhood he's trauma. been on all the news. They give his name. I don't. We don't have to. Is this okay? the one that fell when he was small? Yeah. Yes. I, I just want him to know that we're not. I mean, everybody's been dragging him up since this went over, and. We're interested in since the story. Since went but, over. But we're not, <laughs> since, yeah, since the guy went over. Um, the guy is now 50, and uh, he, uh, up till day before yesterday, was the only person to ever live after going over the 165-foot fall without protective gear. Uh, the story is, on July the 9th, 1960, he and his 17-year-old sister were taking a boat ride with a friend of their father when the boat capsized on the Niagara River. The young lady swam close to the shore, and a bystander pulled her from the water, but the driver of the boat and the young man both were carried over the falls. The driver of the boat was killed, but the young man is her head wound. So that would be... And he's been interviewed a lot uh, about it now, and he, you know... He's not giving them a ton. It doesn't look like it. Well, you know, you know me. Just like we talked to, you know, Vance the other day who, who fell from the tree. I, see, I want to know what was it like. Would oh, you absolutely. remember? Well, that's just our curiosity. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I've had a lot of people come up and ask me about the time I spilt coleslaw on my shoe in first grade exactly. when I dropped my plate, and uh, you know, I was all traumatized by that. To this day, I can't eat anything that with its white. No. You know, so it's uh, <laughs> wow. I was carrying my tray back to the little window in the cafeteria in first grade, and they had big, tall, uh. Venetian blinds down one wall, and they had pulled the blinds up, and there was a loop of Venetian blind cord laying there. <laughs> oh, no, and my foot you. went in it, and it <laughs> snared me. 
<laughs> like a trap and made me fall with my with my tray and all the sixth graders laughed oh, at me. Yeah. And I have never I, gotten over that. That's what made you never. want to be a comedian. You loved them laughing at you. See, well, that's what to, started it. Or either I had to pretend I did it on purpose or something, but I remember crying and just being so embarrassed. Was there Because my little ankle just, and that cord just pulled me up like a... <laughs> was there anything worse as a small child especially first grade, no. to drop your tray in the no. That happened to me. No. I, have, I can't believe it went through your Oh, thing. it was terrible. And I went down. I mean, this thing tripped me, and I fell and everything. I'll never was. forget that lady. Me cutting. neither. We were all scared of our lunchroom lady. Oh, no, they were she all was scared. Kinda mean and they had facial come hair. Come out there, and she hands you that, clean it up! You know. And everybody stared oh, and stuff. Oh, I know. I, I mean, I got a mop. I don't know what to do with it. I needed a shovel. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, what are you going to do with the mom? Oh. <laughs> Food laying everywhere. And by pointing out, God. I remember being terrorized when it got to be lunchtime, thinking, please, God above, don't let me drop this tray. And you knew and, everybody and, and was scared. And you'd be so careful, somebody day. bump into you, go, I'm fixing it. I know. You know yeah, then you're tensed up and you can't balance your oh, stuff I know, I know. your little meal. How tight and... can you hold a lunchroom tray? I mean, you just, you just <laughs> sit there like, I'm going to get it to the table. Oh, I, I hated that, and I hated the kid named Bobby that would always mix all his food together. Oh, I yeah. Hated that that kid. was some terrible eating habits in first grade, <laughs> now, wasn't it? Then the teacher would come and go, well, you're going to have to eat it. you go, no. Oh, not that. I just hated you looking for you to sit and start mixing it. Hey, come on, man. I don't or, think you know, kids do that these you days. Know. I don't think they do that same stuff. The best one we ever had. Our, our How did we any of our, our first grade, man? It was awful. Oh, I know. It'll scar you, too, oh, man. My It'll teacher. Especially if you have an, an older... See, I had an older teacher in first grade, and she was scary. Because old people were scary anyway as a little kid. Yeah. No offense, but old people were scary. And and you had then you have like an elderly teacher, you know, and your your, your mama go. You could, the first time your mom dropped you, and that you couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? You just stand there going, "What is going on here? You know, why are you? Where are you going? You, well, I don't know these people. You know what I mean? And then she just then you go, "How can she be this mean? Yeah, just to walk out of here." And you have to get the speech. You know, my my brother was so, was so horrifying. It's oh, funny because his son did it to him when he started going to school. My brother made such a scene. My dad had to cut a deal with him and said, they will put us in jail if we don't take you here. Okay? Wow. And he, and he, well, looked, true. And he cut a deal, and he said, I'll tell you what, I'll stay here until I learn to read, then I'm out. Or maybe it's a sentence. <laughs> and, and look, my dad used to be a panic. She, Suspended he, sentence. My dad was weighing, he said, I was hoping that your brother, who was just a terrible child, he said, I, I was hoping that by the time he learned to read, he would be okay with school. We would be in fear that he would learn to read too quick, and he would leave. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he, he, every day my dad go, I hope he didn't learn to read today. So, Man. But you remember, because, you know, all kinds of stuff. I was tied to my seat when I was in the second grade by man with the jump rope with duct tape over my mouth. Don't know why. Guess I was trying to help the other kids with their studies. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Evidently. Well, I, I, so. I, remember if I took a ruler to the, you know, cutting up in there and took a ruler one time. Wow! I mean, nowadays, there'd be a lawsuit over it. Oh, yeah, they... Yeah, I mean, our teacher used to say if she couldn't find a witness, remember the witness thing? Yeah. Had to have a witness. If she couldn't find a witness, she'd just say, y'all the witness, watch this. Wow! Wham! Wow, somebody right in front of the class. I got paddled right in front of everybody. <sighs> and it used to be like five licks. You know, I to mean, this you know day, I mean? Coast Law gives me cold chills, man. I just cannot. Well, she can't see-through I don't like, <laughs> by the way. I don't like sour cream or mayonnaise. Or, I don't either. You know, it, and they'll be different. Is all that tied to lunchroom tragedy? It is. I'm not sure. It may be, man. And I know there's some foods that don't have mayonnaise. I'll go, yeah, but it looked like there yes. may be yes. mayonnaise in this ancestry. Yes. So yeah. therefore, I won't eat and it. And if I, ha if I bought into a sandwich of mayonnaise, it's on uh, a meal over. I could be, you know I could be done. three days in the tundra with no food, and somebody could hand me a Whopper from your local Burger King. Uh, <laughs> With mayonnaise on it, and I wouldn't eat it. No way. No way. How about this? I'd rather, Come on now. I'd rather digest stomach lining. Come on, I'm starving. <laughs> starving. 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 I would even starving. eat English peas if I was starving. Which, Ooh, is, which is the most evil green food English there is. Peas? Oh, that, that, man. Is, that is an evil satanic food. Yes, That's and you can't right. even you can't oh, even digest them, right. mix and mashed potatoes. English peas. Did you like them when you were little, though? No, 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 no. never did. No. And you know what kills me? You go to a nice, like a Japanese steakhouse, and they got them in the rice. And that just drives oh, yeah. me crazy. I hate that. I love fried I got rice that what's doesn't next? have Cold a lot of them peas. out here on the grill? Yeah, you know, I, I, and of course Bobby would always get the English peas and try to get them up through a straw. Remember that? And he'd have them just stacked all the way in there. Yeah, oh, what a gross kid! Uh, when I was little, my mom loved English peas, and What's I would always, with her? I would always try to hide them up under the mashed potatoes like I'd eaten them. Yes. <laughs> and she'd, yes, she would always anything. bust me. You know, I mean, she'd be cleaning up. Hey, 
Calvin, you didn't eat. Come back in here. And I'd be the only one. And they were like a little night light on. It'd be like 8 o'clock. And I'd, I'd still like be in there beans, eating. You know? Green beans. The really other, awesome. about about two weeks ago. And I hadn't, I hadn't eaten any since Terry. I come home. It's been a long day. Terry cooked English <laughs> English Excuse peas. Me? Right. Okay. You're talking about you hadn't eaten any since you got married. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, and so... <laughs> And so, I, 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 there, so, so I, I, I scoot up to the table and I look down and there it is. There. Just, it's like they could talk to me. Hey, you remember me? <laughs> you know? Hey, but, hey old friend. Yeah. That's what they said. Hey, buddy. And I, remember had to, us? and I had to sit there and not say a word and just eat every bit of it. No. Oh, uh, it was awful. You're a grown man now. Can you just say I'm not eating that? Well, no. I had to be an example to my two sons. I had to eat, I mean, the whole plate. Because I'm telling them they got to eat it. I got to, too. Can, can I tell you something? I've never understood this thing of making people eat food they don't like. I mean, I know you got to have a nutrition and all that, but I'm talking about if a kid has tried it and they go, that makes me sick, I'm about to throw well, up. Swing them over to something else. Maybe not. <laughs> as, you know? as adults, we don't have to eat what we don't like. <laughs> right. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, there is no other. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Waking on the blubber. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.